Hey guys, what is up? It's Jared from Van City Conversions. Before we even get into this video, I'm a little sick with a head cold, so if I'm stuffy, I apologize. You're gonna have to get over it. The tour is the main attraction of this video. This is a mobile barber shop. Um, before we step inside, it's a 2022 144 wheelbase uh, Sprinter van, rear wheel drive. It's decked out with all the accessories on the inside. Um, up front in the cab, won't show you that. The exciting part's back here. It was wrapped by our neighbors next door, Brandon Wraps, amazing job, satin black, the gloss black logo. And what this van is for and the company and everything behind it, I'll link some information below. Um, they are about to be up and running, so all that information will be down below if I get it in time before posting this video and you can look them up. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it. So majority of the people are going to be entering from the back of this van. It is a back entering van. Just going to have to ignore the dog in most of the video. First thing right off the bat, this is a totally different build than what we normally do. A um, lot of attention to detail, to kind of the aesthetic and the interior finishes. And I think we did an amazing job and you guys can let us know. So right off the bat, you can see the walls in this van. I'll start off with this paneling. It's actually a laminate paneling by a company called Swiss Kronos. Um, backed onto, I guess, a Luon ply uh, with an adhesive. They, our client wanted to go with a concrete look uh, for the walls, and I think we nailed that. Talked about some of the materials used in this van. Uh, client really wanted to go with this color scheme, and I think it turned out well. So with the concrete laminate walls, um, and then this kind of strip-like ceiling with the black backdrop, uh, the lacquered pine. That was quite a lot of work, but I think it uh, pulled this whole build together, especially with the strip lights. Uh, running vertically throughout this van it turned out amazing. So up here we have the Samsung TV So the clients whether they're waiting or they're done. They want to chat a bit have a drink You can watch TV whatever is playing up there down here. We have a mini. It's a stainless steel. It's a vertifrigo fridge I still die with them best fridges on the market. It's made in Italy super low power consumption um, I'll Show you a shot of that on the inside, but they're yeah beautiful. It's nice stainless um, down below, just some more extra storage. We went with the RV labs so they're not flying open while you drive. With everything in this van has the soft closed latches. Uh, down here is the cabinetry. Over the wheel well, you had to leave that kind of closed up. That's not a usable space. When you open these up, um, plenty of storage down there for supplies and whatnot. And everything is latched in place. So these will not open unless you push them in and then they open, which is a pretty cool system we figured out. Um, same thing with the walls, going with the countertops. This is actually a countertop material, so super durable um, and just kind of blends in together. So all this cabinetry, if you've noticed, we kind of went with a curve like, um, a lot of curves in the lines with the mirror, the cabinets on this side here. We actually have a built-in little USB outlet, two of them, get on and off switch. And then right here is a touch screen. It's an upgraded monitor. Um, for the diesel heater they have. So this is fully heated, it's fully winterized, and I guess fully summarized, which takes me into the next point. Above head, they have the black Dometic RTX 2000. Um, I love them, I've used them probably five or six times in builds. Um, it's a totally off-grid 12 volt AC, um, and they're fairly good at uh, power consumption. And yeah, if you, if you wanna spend the money, they aren't cheap, but this is a uh, good way, especially mandatory, to keep the van cool in the summer with clients. Before we step up into the hair cutting station of the van, like I said, this is the lounge area where you'd be looking at the TV with your drink. So you have these cup, custom upholstered cushions. I think they turned out amazing. They decided to just go with the one bunk window, the Sierra Lawrence bunk window. Let some light in here. And then overhead, we have this very minimalistic, pretty much control center for the whole van. So they have the two lights, which we'll show you. Um, this controls the ceiling strip lights, um, sorry, the mirror, and this one's the ceiling lights. Um, beside it, you have the Victron, the black BMS. This pretty much tells you the voltage of the van, kind of run time left, all that fun stuff. And then here is the on and off switch for the inverter. This van does have shore power, which takes me into the electrical system. So under this bench is all the electrical, and you just have to remove one cushion to lift it up. Stored away here and tucked away all nicely is the electrical system. It is pretty big and bulky. 
um, pretty much to run the AC and a hair dryer and charge some of his clippers. Like I said, fridge is efficient, um, and I guess TV is a pretty big power draw as well. They have all everything in here is Victron except for the batteries, but they do have 400 amps of lithium batteries, the 3,000 watt Victron inverter charger. They got the smart charge controller, the 100 over 30 for their solar, um, and then the Orion, uh, the DC to DC charger, which allows you to pull close to 40 amps, it says 30, from the alternator and charge the system up while you're driving. Uh, everything's fused separately with a blue C 12 volt uh, DC fuse box, and then just the sub panel for all the 110 outlets, pretty much. All right, this whole van's build is pretty much based off this chair. This is not something we provided, the client provided us. I don't know much about barber chairs. It is pretty nice, it reclines. Like I said, this whole van swivels um, with it fully extended, the, the feet portion. So that's a pretty important uh, part of this build and there's plenty of room uh, for the barber to walk around and cut Klein's hair. So this, this chair is pretty much the center point of the build and I think it uh, stands out pretty nicely. So I guess moving on to this area, uh, we have the diesel heater down here in the corner. We were gonna do it under the seat. This van was equipped with um, auxiliary batteries. It's too much of a headache and then getting the air in here because this is a closed cab. I think that's a perfect spot for it. It's not in the way diesel heaters kind of blended in right in that little box there down that corner. Easy to access and maintenance. Up here is a nice little curved wall floating shelf. Um, I think he's gonna put Whatever, plants, diffuser up there, some candles. Make it look pretty as an outlet, tucked away up in that corner as well. And then down here we have the Sirocco 2 fan, which is nice for the days where it's not super hot, you don't need the AC, um, but you do you do have the fan uh, to blast on a client, which is nice. Uh, which leads me, we'll show you some shots above us. It actually came with a factory skylight. It doesn't open, but it is nice to let in some light. So there's a factory skylight right above the client, uh, which is actually pretty nice. If it's a sunny day, don't even need the lights on, you get some natural light in here. Moving on to this mirror, I think it is like the center point of the van. We actually had this custom made by a local glass manufacturer and mirror manufacturer of BIOS. So we did follow this curvature with this tracking to put some LED strips uh, all around it, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, we were thinking of other ideas. I think this turned out really sweet. And overhead here, it's kind of a theme. Same with on the back door. Our client is going to have some floating plants. A lot of plants in here with some greenery. I think it will really bring it to life. Um, so this is a nice, nice custom made floating shelf we made for them. And this is our client's custom workstation. Uh, there's a lot, a lot of time and effort that went into this to customize it toward him. Now all of his tools aren't in it for the most part. Um, so it's, it's hard to really notice and see. But up here we have the same laminate concrete look for the countertop. A bit of a lip so stuff doesn't slide around. Made this super small custom drawer to fit all of his guards and his hair dryer accessories in there. Uh, with soft closing on that as well. And down here, it's a bit different. This actually opens up downwards and there's six slots in here with a, with a power bar in the back. So when he brings all of his clippers here, they're all gonna sit in there with the charging cord right there to access. So when he's done with the night, he stows them away and they charge and then when he wants to use them in the day, the right here in this uh, opening type cupboard. I think that turned out pretty cool. And then down low, it's for his products. He wanted a drawer at this depth. Um, and right now he just has his hair dryer in it, but all of his products can fit down there. The closing latches as well. Um, and yeah, this was quite complicated. Cabinetry making, because of the slant, you can't use the full full width of it when, it's, when you're coming to drawers. So there's some small 10 inch slides and stuff involved. Um, and on the side here, you have another USB outlet set your phone here, your client or, or him himself and charge his phone up while he's cutting hair. All right, same sort of deal on the back as I mentioned about these planter pots. We didn't want to just kind of waste this space here. So we do have the same shelves on the back here for some nice hanging greenery when he uh, puts those in. And then these actually just flip open. They're on hinges, a little bit of a lip here. Um, he can store something, whether it's some bottles of product again, some some cloths. It's just storage where this would go to waste and, and like I said it looks good. Mainly these are for holding plants but he still has some storage in there for some books, magazines, stuff like that. So and that's on either side. So I think that turned out turned out really well. If you guys want any more information about us as a company we are located in Ancaster, Ontario. Websites down below, all of our social medias. And yeah, we have a couple, couple more vans that have been done we want to film tours for. 
and just post them up there. You get kind of busy, tend to forget, but I, I really wanted to share this one. So if you did like the video, please make sure to leave a like. If you have any more questions about the construction or the specs of this fan, leave them down below. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next tour.